NASA issued an urgent warning Pluto is not what you think. What is NASA alluding to here? Are they referring to the latest findings from the New Horizon space probe, which show that strange things are going on on Pluto's surface? One of the explosive images actually shows an object that appears to be gliding across the surface of Pluto. This raises disturbing questions as to whether some kind of previously unknown life exists on this distant world, or are we dealing with a strange geological phenomenon? Pluto may be small, but the stories it has to tell are big and full of surprises. When Pluto's planetary status was revoked in 26, scientists were unaware of the data from the New Horizons probe, which only reached Pluto nine years later. Since then, we have known that there is far more to this little guy than was assumed. How did astronomers actually come to deny this planet which we have all somehow grown up with the status of a real planet? It was like this. After the discovery of numerous other tiny planets in the CUA belt, they decided that we needed a boundary for what is a planet and what is a dwarf planet or transneptunian object. Pluto scores points for its size and round shape, but the planet shares its orbit with several other objects. The orbit is therefore not considered to be adjusted, and this was precisely the reason why Pluto was no longer included in the list of large planets in the solar system. Many people on Earth think this is a shame, and this decision by astronomers caused consternation among the population worldwide. Pluto, no longer a planet, many people simply couldn't imagine. It's crazy that this small planet has so many friends on Earth, and there were letters of protest to NASA, famous scientists who spoke out in favor of the demotion, and even governments received letters from angry citizens demanding that Pluto be a planet again. This planet has been with us since the 1930s and has since been the conclusion of a series of nine planets. As if to advertise this, in 2015 when New Horizons sent us the first real image, the excluded minor planet showed us its cute face. Imagine it was the first real image of Pluto. If you've seen the planet on blackboards or in school textbooks before, they were purely artistic representations and not real images. Pluto denied even the Hubble telescope a clear view of its face. Only New Horizons was allowed to photograph the little one as it really is. Colorful, friendly, amazingly lively, and with a heart. Since then, the planet on the outer edge of the solar system has won over even more friends, and perhaps astronomers will change their minds one day, and we will get Pluto back. The first real images of Pluto took everyone's breath away. It was a magical moment when the first data from the New Horizons probe arrived at mission headquarters in 2015. Everyone present knew that they were about to see a planet for the first time that everyone was somehow familiar with but had never seen up close. The computers on Earth put together this fascinating image from thousands of individual bits and pixels. What else the probe revealed about Pluto was a revelation that completely turned our understanding of this distant planet on its head. Pluto is much more varied, much more structured, and much more alive than planetary researchers had previously assumed. In addition, the small planet appeared to be covered in landscape forms and possibly even weather phenomena. Nobody had expected that either. With every new bit that New Horizons transmitted, the blurry, mysterious world in the darkness of the Copper Belt became a tangible object that showed so much life that it took scientists' breath away. More and more surprises and geological wonders opened up before the researchers' eyes. Instead of the expected icy and crater-strewn wasteland, Pluto turned out to be a dynamic place with majestic icebergs, deep canyons, and smooth glacial surfaces. It took years for the countless measurement data, photos, and findings to make the long journey from Pluto to Earth. Since 2015, we have been surprised again and again with new fascinating aspects about Pluto. Who is that walking on Pluto's surface? It's shocking. This moving image circulated in the media in 2016. But what can you see here? It looks as if a person is walking across a strange honeycomb-shaped snowdrift. You can actually see ice landscapes here, but unlike on Earth, these frozen surfaces are not made of water but of nitrogen and methane. Researchers identified the strange object as a dirty iceberg which appears to be gliding over the surface of the ice-covered plain. The massive block of ice is most likely also made of extremely solid nitrogen. These bizarre-looking landforms revealed something very special to researchers. They now believe that there is a nitrogen reservoir several kilometers below Pluto's surface in which the solid blocks form. Geological activity in the interior of the planet pushes these blocks upwards, 
creating the honeycombs and structures such as the apparently wandering mountain. This points to a warm core of the planet, and this finding alone is a sensation that could have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of Pluto. Pluto is far more active than assumed. Geological activity from heat and shifts in surface structures indicate a kind of aliveness that shows we have underestimated Pluto. This little guy not only has a heart but fire in it, and that could even mean that there are pockets of liquid inside Pluto that resemble oceans or magma chambers of ice. The head of the geology team of the New Horizons mission, William McKinnon, even compared the inner life of the dwarf planet to a lava lamp the size of Hudson Bay in Canada. Computer simulations showed that this impressive landscape developed over millions of years and is still extremely active today. Can you see the distinctive X on the right below the iceberg? This formation was probably created by sublimation. During sublimation, a substance changes directly from a solid to a gaseous state, and the liquid phase disappears. These processes occur due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto, mysterious geological processes, and weather phenomena in a dead world. Christmas in the snow on Pluto. Does that sound crazy to you? Well, it's a fact. Pluto really is a surprise. The New Horizons mission revealed fascinating aspects of the climate and seasonal changes on this planet. Pluto, which orbits in the cold distant regions of the Kuiper Belt, experiences significant seasonal variations due to its eccentric orbit and tilt. The New Horizons space probe discovered that Pluto's atmosphere, a thin layer of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, changes dramatically depending on how close or far Pluto is from the Sun. The changes affect not only the atmosphere but also the surface conditions of the dwarf planet. One particularly remarkable aspect of the climatic dynamics is snow on Pluto. This consists mainly of frozen nitrogen and methane. Unlike on Earth, where snow only forms from water, the extremely low temperatures on Pluto cause the far more volatile gases nitrogen and methane to condense and fall as exotic snow. All these processes shape and renew Pluto's surface by covering the landscape with fresh deposits. The upheavals, in turn, drive other geological activity in the form of glacial movement and possibly even cryovolcanic processes. The New Horizons research also showed that these seasonal cycles are closely linked to atmospheric density. When Pluto is closest to the Sun, the sparse light is enough to slightly warm up the dwarf planet's atmosphere, causing it to expand slightly and rise. When Pluto moves away from the Sun again, the atmosphere freezes and sinks back to the surface. This dynamic leads to a remarkable phenomenon. When Pluto's atmosphere condenses, it could literally snow with the snow consisting of nitrogen and methane. The variations in surface brightness and the distribution of icy deposits further suggest that almost all surface features and landscapes on Pluto are associated with these atmospheric cycles. Since Pluto's mountains are not made of rock but of ice, which is very dynamic in this world, the entire surface moves far more than that of our Earth, for example. What is Pluto's heart made of? Who would have thought that Pluto's heart is not just a pretty trademark? In addition to its prestigious appearance, this region is also one of the most exciting regions on the planet, officially called Sputnik Planum. The region is named after the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, which the Soviet Union sent into space in 1957. This large heart-shaped ice surface extends over an area of around 1,000 kilometers and consists mainly of nitrogen ice with inclusions of frozen methane and carbon monoxide. The bright, almost fluorescent surface of Sputnik Planum forms a stark contrast to the darker, more complex regions around it. Geologically, Sputnik Planum is a gigantic impact structure that was probably later altered by volcanic processes. Unlike typical volcanic activity on Earth, where lava emerges from the Earth's interior, cryovolcanism on Pluto involves icy materials emerging from the dwarf planet's interior to the surface. The heat sources in the depths of Pluto cause nitrogen and other volatile substances to heat up and push upwards, where they freeze and form unique formations like this one. Sputnik Planum is remarkably flat, which leads researchers to conclude that the icy surface is regularly renewed by internal processes. It's probably convection processes within the ice sheet that shape these landscapes. Researchers suspect that there may be an ocean of liquid water beneath the smooth ice sheet of Sputnik Planum which is kept liquid by the heat inside Pluto. Researchers doubt where the forms of life can exist in this subglacial ocean, 
but it's not completely out of the question. What role does Sharon play? What hardly anyone knew before New Horizons' mission is that Pluto has its own moon, and not just one. Sharon is Pluto's largest moon and was discovered in 1978 with a diameter of around 1,212 kilometers. Sharon is so large that it forms a highly interesting double system with Pluto because both bodies rotate around a common center of gravity outside Pluto. Researchers now suspect that Sharon is not a real moon at all but also a dwarf planet that has somehow attached itself to Pluto. This unique constellation has profound effects on both celestial bodies. For example, the gravitational bond between Pluto and Sharon leads to tidal forces that affect the surfaces and possibly also the internal structures of both bodies. These forces may be responsible for Pluto's warm interior and the exciting geologic activity it exhibits. Karen's influence also relates to Pluto's rotation. Both celestial bodies are bound to each other in such a way that they always face the same side. Sharon could influence part of Pluto's atmosphere by trapping ejected atmospheric particles. Sharon itself does not have a permanent atmosphere of its own, but it probably temporarily captures volatiles from Pluto's atmosphere and thus wraps itself a little in the mantle of its partner. NASA's recent alert about Pluto has set the scientific community abuzz. The statement underscores a profound shift in our understanding of this distant celestial body. For decades, Pluto has captivated our imaginations, its status as the ninth planet in our solar system ingrained in our collective consciousness. However, recent revelations from the New Horizons space probe have challenged everything we thought we knew about this enigmatic world. The journey to reevaluate Pluto's status began in 26 when the International Astronomical Union, IAU, controversially reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. This decision, driven by the discovery of other similar-sized celestial bodies in the Kuiper Belt, sparked a wave of debate and disappointment among scientists and the public alike. Many argued that Pluto's demotion diminished its significance and historical legacy. However, the true turning point came nearly a decade later with the arrival of the New Horizons probe at the edge of our solar system. Equipped with state-of-the-art instruments and cameras, New Horizons offered humanity its first close-up glimpse of Pluto's surface in 2015. What it revealed was nothing short of astonishing. The images beamed back to Earth depicted a world of staggering complexity and beauty. Far from the cold, desolate wastelands some had imagined, Pluto's surface was alive with geological activity. Majestic icebergs, deep canyons, and smooth glacial surfaces hinted at a dynamic and ever-changing landscape. The discovery of nitrogen glaciers and possible cryovolcanoes challenged our understanding of planetary processes in the outer reaches of the solar system. One of the most intriguing findings was a heart-shaped region on Pluto's surface, aptly named Sputnik Planum. This vast expanse of frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide hinted at a history of violent impacts and subsequent volcanic activity. The presence of a possible subsurface ocean raised tantalizing questions about the potential for life beyond Earth. Moreover, Pluto's relationship with its largest moon, Charon, added another layer of complexity to the story. The gravitational dance between these two bodies revealed insights into their shared history and evolution. Tidal forces from Sharon likely played a role in shaping Pluto's surface and internal structure, further blurring the line between planet and moon. But perhaps the most astonishing revelation came from unexpected motion captured on Pluto's surface. Images circulated in 2016 showed what appeared to be a large object moving across Pluto's surface. Further analysis confirmed that it was a dirty iceberg drifting across the icy terrain, propelled by forces from beneath the surface. This discovery challenged existing models of planetary dynamics and raised intriguing questions about the nature of geological activity on distant worlds. As scientists continue to pore over the wealth of data returned by New Horizons, the story of Pluto only grows more intriguing. Each new discovery challenges our assumptions and expands our understanding of the cosmos. While debates about Pluto's planetary status may persist, one thing is clear. This small world at the edge of our solar system holds secrets yet to be fully revealed. And with each passing day, we inch closer to unlocking the mysteries of Pluto and the universe beyond. NASA's recent announcement regarding Pluto has ignited a wave of excitement and speculation within the scientific community. For decades, 
Pluto has occupied a unique place in our understanding of the solar system, but recent findings have prompted a reevaluation of its significance and complexity. The story of Pluto's reclassification from a full-fledged planet to a dwarf planet in 26 marked the beginning of a new chapter in planetary science. While this decision was met with disappointment by some, it sparked a renewed interest in understanding the nature of celestial bodies beyond the traditional boundaries of our planetary system. Fast forward to 2015 when the New Horizons spacecraft made its historic flyby of Pluto, capturing unprecedented images and data that would revolutionize our understanding of this distant world. What scientists discovered was nothing short of extraordinary. Instead of the barren, frozen wasteland once imagined, Pluto's surface revealed a landscape teeming with geological activity and diversity. Towering ice mountains, vast plains of frozen nitrogen, and intricate networks of valleys and canyons painted a picture of a dynamic and evolving world. One of the most remarkable features observed was Pluto's heart, a vast heart-shaped region on its surface known as Sputnik Planum. This expansive area composed primarily of nitrogen ice hinted at a complex history of geological processes, including cryovolcanism and tectonic activity. But perhaps the most surprising discovery came in 2016 when images revealed what appeared to be a large object moving across Pluto's surface. Further analysis confirmed that it was a dirty iceberg drifting across the icy terrain, propelled by forces from beneath the surface. This revelation challenged existing models of planetary dynamics and raised intriguing questions about the nature of geological activity on distant worlds. Pluto's relationship with its largest moon, Charon, also provided valuable insights into its evolution and geological history. The gravitational interactions between these two bodies have sculpted their surfaces and influenced their internal structures, adding another layer of complexity to the story of Pluto. As scientists continue to analyze the wealth of data returned by New Horizons, new questions emerge, driving further exploration and discovery. What other secrets does Pluto hold? Could there be subsurface oceans or hidden reservoirs of volatile compounds waiting to be uncovered? While the debate over Pluto's planetary status may continue, one thing is certain. The story of Pluto is far from over. With each new discovery, our understanding of this distant world deepens opening new avenues of exploration and expanding our knowledge of the universe beyond.